Hey guys. Now a lot of you may have noticed an abundance of China Rising weapons showing up in game and on YouTube now as well. Don't panic, I'm not going to talk about them like everyone else. Well not about the weapons themselves at least. For the most part I haven't seen people actually telling you how to unlock them. So that's what this video is for. Firstly of course you need to have access to the China Rising DLC. Now it's not out yet but you need to have future access to it. So assuming you have pre-purchased it somehow, or have premium as well, you will then be able to access the weapons. It looks like this is a mistake on DICE's part. I, I don't think they are meant to let people have these weapons. There's also no assignments listed on Battlelog for these weapons, so that makes me think they were released by mistake. If you know what the assignments are though, like I do, you can unlock them. So, let's get started. The weapons you can unlock are the L85A2 Assault Rifle, the MP7 PDW, the MTAR-21 Carbine, the RPK-74M LMG, and the L96A1 Sniper Rifle. So let's start with the L85A2 Assault Rifle. To get this, you need to do certain things all in one round. You need to get three Assault Rifle Ribbons, you need to get a kill with a pistol, get a kill with a 40mm grenade, which is the M320, and get a kill with the defib kit. All of that needs to be accomplished in one round. Most of it is simple enough, the defib kit is the hardest part. Just sneak up behind someone and defib their ass. That actually seems to have the best hitbox, and that is not a joke. Moving on to the L96A1, which is a sexy sniper rifle to say the least. For this you are completing the assignment called Need Only One. And you need three sniper ribbons, a shotgun kill, a DMR kill, and a C4 kill. Again, all of that needs to be within one round. That's pretty straightforward enough. The next weapon is the MTAR-21. For this, you need the assignment called Multi-Talented. And this one's really simple. In a round, you need to kill one kill with an assault rifle, one kill with a light machine gun, one kill with a sniper rifle, and one kill with a grenade, and that's it. Really easy, that one. Next, we have the RPK-74M, and this one is simple, however, it's only simple if you have the mortar unlocked. For this one in a round, you need three light machine gun ribbons, and you also need one kill with the mortar. I, however, did not have the mortar unlocked, so I had to spend a lot of time unlocking it first. If you've got it unlocked, this one's really simple. Last but not least, you need the MP7, of course. You need that light PDW action. If you want to get that, in one round again, you need to destroy an air vehicle with a portable AA, and you need to get three anti-vehicle ribbons. To get an anti-vehicle ribbon, you need to destroy two vehicles. So essentially, in a round, you need to destroy six vehicles. Just run around with some C4, jump in a chopper, jump in a tank, whatever. So there you have it. That is how you unlock all of the China Rising weapons early, give it a go, play with them a bit. I'm sure you're fed up of other people using them and you not knowing how. Here you go. I hope you found the video informative and useful guys. Like and subscribe and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.